Hello, this is Asher. Now, I've decided to start a Let's Play, and I figured vanilla was a bit boring. I don't know, I've been spoiled from Tech It and stuff. So I've decided to add mods to the Let's Play. Before we get into the Let's Play, I wanted to give you a general description and show off some cool stuff that eventually will be taken, taken advantage of. Now, this is the Cross of Mercy. Uh, I love the descriptions for these things. Now, this is cool because when you bop undead over the head with it, it gives them a real good smashing and destroys them. This, these things are from Bibliocraft, which Bibliocraft adds lots of bookcases and armor stands and cool stuff like that. So I figured since this was a RPG magic stuff, book, extra book stuff would be good. Inside the armor stand, we have the Sichalko's armor, which is the highest tier of armor you can get from the new ore mod that I installed called Metallurgy. This is the Admin Arc, which uh, does a lot of damage. Pretty much one-shots everything, because it's just so beast. The problem is it's not really obtainable, legitly, in survival. You need bedrock. Which there's no crafting recipe for, you can't get. So, yeah. Best to keep that secret away. This is a cannon from Balkan's weapon mod. You, uh, put gunpowder in your inventory, and cannonballs. You right click on these with one of them. I'm not sure how it works. I've been trying to get it to work for the past however long, and I've never seemed to be able to get it to work. Now, this is blocks of niobium. Niobium is a kind of metal found in the end. This thing is an Avis egg. They're found in dungeons and extreme hill biomes, which are kind of hard to get because the Avises that guard them are very beast and make everything nauseated and trippy. So, they're cool because you can ride them and tame them, but it's hard, kind of a hard thing to achieve. Now, in my creative menu, you can see there's a little blue icon with the zero above the experience bar. And this is magic from the Ars Magica mod. This is an Archmage podium that lets... Normally, when you're playing with Ars Magica, you can only have the, the little dash-looking one. Or the bottom arrow. But when you get one of these, after defeating the boss, you can unlock augmented casting, which is the upper arrow. The upper arrow allows you to cast more powerful versions of spells that you already have. Now, as you can tell, this isn't a normal forest. Uh, and you can see there's a wasteland over there. There's giant mountains over there. And as you probably guess, this is Oh, but this is a birch forest, but the mod that causes this is called Ex Extra Biomes XL. It adds over 60 new biomes to make exploration all the more fun. Oh shit. Where'd the moving angel go? Oh god. god there, were, there weren't enough binding magics. We escaped. Shit. Okay. Um, if any of you were wondering, uh, there was a weeping angel in here, um, that I, he had snuck up on me while I was making this. Weeping angels, if you don't know, are from the show called Doctor Who, of which I'm a huge fan, I'm a massive sci-fi nerd. And the, the weeping angels are weird because, first off, in the game, you can only heal them with an iron pick, or iron or above, diamond works too. And they only, in the TV show, they only exist when you're not looking at them. So when you are looking at them, they're stone statues. But when you're not looking at them, they exist. Maybe I have to do that. Yeah, see? 
he, he can't, I can't, he can't, I can't see him because he's behind the glass. So you can see he's moving, and they're very scary, and you can only kill them after a certain amount of mining, so I figured they'd be a fun jump scare. Now, the binding magics that I was talking about, this warded glass stuff and this warded stone stuff, these are from Thomcraft. Thomcraft is a kind of magic mod that adds lots of new discoveries and ores and stuff for magic. This, these are candles, which I really like. I love the tallow candles. And this is a very high-end sort of thaumaturgic device called a crystal core. And these are totems that you find, and you use them to basically move around the aura of magic. The binding magics that I was talking uh, the, the these things, these aren't really binding magics. These are from the runic dust mod. And this particular rune oh, is the beacon rune, and it makes a little beacon thing, and if you drop die on them, then it makes them colored. Yeah. These... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, we found the other weeping angel. The one that escaped. Jesus. Oh, God. Damn. Blue. Okay. Anyways, this is Maystone, and this is a Firefly Jar. They are, they are from the Twilight Forest mod, which you can create Portal to, and has lots of bosses and cool ores and stuff, and it's very nice. This is an Altar of Light. They're from Xeno's Reliquary mod, which is the same mod that the Cross of Mercy is from. Damn, that makes heavy. That, my friend, is because it's so full of mercy. Does the Altar of Light have one? No. Oh. Now, these bricks, before I go into the Necromancy mod, the bricks are from Metallurgy, the same mod that changes the default texture for weapons and also adds that new armor. These are Sanguinite bricks, which are it's nether metal. This is liquid blood. This is an animated, uh, animated, I'm trying to think of the word, an animated construct teddy bear, which, walking, defending, sitting. This is a necromantic altar, which you can use with your very own necronomicon to spawn in minions. So I'm not going to spawn any in, because, I don't know, because I don't want to. This is a scarecrow, and it's kind of creepy because they move, and even though they're just melons and pumpkins and sticks. This is a lily pad of fertility, in case you're wondering. They're from the Xenos Reliquary mod. You, uh, basically, they, they make things grow faster when you put them on water. I don't know if it does the same if it's on blood, because this is liquid blood, but I, I don't know. Yeah, guys, that's that's all the mods that I could find to make an interesting thing of. Now, this mod, this Let's Play is going to be mo mostly single player. A few of my friends might hop onto a land world every once in a while, but it's not, don't count on it. It's just mainly going to be me. Alright, bid you farewell, and for our final t farewell, we're going to kill this weeping angel. Be gone, foul creature. Spill your mortuous and malice elsewhere. Alright. Thanks for watching. Episodes will be out soon. I call this mod the Ancient Lore Pack. And I'll put all the mods that are in this mod in the description. All the mods that are in this Let's Play in the description so you can take a look at them and try them out and all that cool stuff. Alright? Thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed. Like so that I can keep doing this. I, li I ask for likes because I want to know if what I'm doing is good. I want to know if it's something that people enjoy if it's something that people want to watch so thumbs up if that is the case and you do enjoy this thanks for watching click subscribe click subscribe <laughs>